he would keep himself busy every day and try to make the most delicious dishes for all his guests. But he forgot that he's only human and needs time to eat and rest. He was so busy that he didn't even have time to eat and couldn't even taste his own cooking. He was unwilling to seek help, even when he's tired, because he thought he's the only one capable of cooking the best dishes. Eventually, the people around him felt like they couldn't help him anyway, so they just left. And because he had forgotten the original taste of his dishes, he was no longer a good chef. In the end, his restaurant had no choice but to close for good. Uh, oh. I see. He's overly confident, which disappoints the people around him, and he's so impatient that he ends up losing sight of his original purpose. <sighs> so, that's the whole story? Oh! Um... Yep, that's the whole thing! Mama made a great story! Hmm? Did you come up with that story? Oh, uh, no! We just... <laughs> hmm, how should I describe it? The story is very simple, and I suppose think before you act and don't overexert yourself. Of course, I understand these concepts in theory, but when tasks come to me personally, it is easy. Yes, up in the mountains, we can see the mist in the clouds. Out in the ocean, we can see fog on the sea. That's why from time to time, we need to examine where we are, remove the fog, and feel our heart. So, how do you feel now, Kuching? How do I feel? Hmm. Deep down inside, I wish I could slow down time. That way, I could finally take the opportunity to walk around the city, see the people I wish to see, and watch the fireworks. Thinking back, I used to be even more impatient. My colleagues would resign after just three months of working with me. You're completely right. It's important to know your boundaries. Uh, but I am getting better. You can tell, can't you? And I did make a promise with you, didn't I? We agreed to enjoy the fireworks show together this year. So... Happy Lantern Rite, Traveler and Paimon. I'm very happy to be here and enjoy this moment together with you. I've poured all my best effort into this fireworks show. And now that we're here, I sincerely hope you will enjoy it. I feel very fortunate to be right here, enjoying the fireworks and enjoying the view of Liu Harbor. Happy Lantern Rite. <laughs> Happy Lantern Rite. And... Thank you. Kuching, the item Lady Ningguang prepared for you has arrived. <sighs> Traveler, wait here for a moment. Don't go anywhere. Huh? Must be something important. Ningguang had her personal tailor make it for me, said it's an imported style. Well, do you like it? Wow, it's beautiful! <laughs> it's time. 
Traveler. Please enjoy the grand finale of this year's Lantern Rite. The fireworks show. Check you out. Looking pretty fancy. Only a true treasure catches the eye of Captain Beto. Seems I've struck gold with this one. Baiju, sorry to trouble you again this year. <laughs> no trouble at all. Uh, lantern right. <laughs> Happy lantern right. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Happy lantern right. <laughs> What did you think of this year's fireworks display? I just hope this festival can be everything that people want it to be. Really? I hope you're not just saying that to reassure me. I want you to be straight with me if you have any suggestions. <clears throat> anyway, if you have any time during the festival, take a look around the city. <sighs> if only I had a little more free time. I'd love to take you around and show you everything we did to make this... 